I can just remember the fella out on the field. He just never stopped amazing you with what he could do with the footy. He's one of those few players that always looked like he had a bit of time. And that's a sign of true greatness. We love beautifully done, superbly done, goes for goal. He had a great defensive part to his game. He wasn't just a forward or attacking. He could do everything. I mean, he was just a pleasure to watch and he was a pleasure to play with. Kilda leaving it very open. Widmar, well, oh, what a kick. It's a goal. Usually the young blokes take, you know, a good couple of years to, to find their feet, but Nicky comes straight in and he was performing straight away. Widmar, oh, You could see that he possessed an incredible skill level. I think that's the first thing that really stood out. And I think as time went on, his whole game just evolved to a, an incredible level. The whole team had improved. The young blokes had, you know, got a couple of years under their belt and we were knocking on the door. Widmar at half forward looking for Lockett, kicks it long. Lockett's a big chance here. I could lead in different places and know that, you I mean, he had the skill level. He could do left foot, right foot. I had confidence in wherever I went, he could put the ball out in front of me. If Nicky had it anywhere in the middle of the ground, you know you're going to be a chance. Not only could he kick straight and direct, but he could kick long too. One by Matt, but stolen by Winmar. Charging out of the centre, a long kick. That's the way to go. That is the way to go. Some of his performances at Moorabbin were incredible. When he was turning it on, that whole ground used to erupt between the visitors' race and the, and the St Kilda race was what they used to call the animal cage, and they used to get going. Oh, man, what a great place to play footy. Yes! That was the perfect game to be involved in at Moorabbin because the crowd gets involved and you win, mate. Greatest high of all time, mate. It was fantastic. Winmar, a good one-handed scoop. His pass is perfect. Whenever anyone was coming up against Nicky, they, they knew they were in for an afternoon of footy, let me tell you. He could take screamers. He could get around blokes, run them down, he'd tackle them, he'd bounce back up like a rubber band, kick at 60. From 60 metres, oh, he's To watch him get around, I mean, he, he loped, but he was very quick, you know what I mean? He used to take those big strides. He adapted to what he had to do. If he had to tag a bloke, he'd tag a bloke. He could play tall, he could play short. He could do everything. The complete footballer. Stephen Hocking, oh, great moment. What a player this man is. Back in the day, Moorabbin wasn't the driest ground in the league, and he could turn it on in the wet weather too, mate. Here is Slumrock and Winmar. Great goal. Great bloke. Absolutely top of the range. Got on like a house on fire, the two of us. And, and that's probably what showed out in the ground, you know. We, um, we had each other's back. Windmark! That foot slipped! It might be a goal! It is! Your teammates, you've, you've played footy with them for years and years and years. It's just a, a, a mateship and a respect, you know, as a, as a footballer, as a person that's built over, over time, and you never want to let that go. He took a stand that day, and as we can see now, 25, 30 years on, you know, I think we're a lot better game for what he did that day. As he plays his 250th game and becomes the first Aboriginal to do so. He was a star back then, like a, you know, a true champion, and he would be a star today. And I just know, being out on the ground there when he was turning it on, the crowd just absolutely loved him. Winner! And you know what, a lot of opposition, they mightn't admit it at the time, but I think they loved watching him play too. And that says something about a footballer. Hence why we're here talking about him. He's an absolute superstar. Great that he's getting acknowledged now, and he thoroughly deserves his um, place in the Hall of Fame.